Switching gears, um, Nas's ex-wife, Khalees, was just revealed as one of the masked uh, singers. Mm. Has anybody ever watched that show, The Masked Singer? Mm -hmm. I always I see, thought that was yeah. a really strange premise for I a I saw like a little clip show. and I was mm. kind of done with it. Yeah, it was... Mm. It almost <laughs> got me, it almost got me, but it ain't really pulled yeah, me Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a voice, like the voice, you know, I, I love that show. Um, but apparently she's blasting the producers, the Neptunes, um, uh, saying mm. they tricked her and they owe her money. Mm. Um, and she's also saying that Nas was abusive in their relationship. That was like this big art, you know, mm -hmm. uh, interview that came out, um, and that uh, you know that she missed all the red flags about you know mm -hmm. Nas being abusive. I mean, what do you guys think about well, why that? Why she keep on dogging what, him though? What, what, yeah, what are your what thoughts whenever a woman comes uh, whenever a woman comes out after the fact and says you know that she has was abused by said person? Usually. And especially when the person is beloved, you know, mm -hmm. by everybody, especially, you know. What, I mean, I, I think it's probably just um, one of those situations where you, you think about it for a really long time. Mm -hmm. And she probably the type of person that don't want to really hurt that man mm -hmm. and hurt his career. Imagine yeah. they also right. share a child yeah, together. Exactly. They've been yeah. going yeah. back and yeah. forth a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. They've been going back and forth a lot about with that about that child. So mm -hmm. right. it's kind of suspect to me, you know, like, like every couple of months, she come out with something. You know, I'm not saying it didn't happen, Melissa, but mm -hmm. I'm just saying every couple of months she comes out with something. Missed them payments, well, then she yeah. mm. It was contentious before. Yeah. Why didn't she bring it out when it was contentious? I mean, well, she I'm not has saying it didn't. Made mention before. This was like a specific article at the Guardian where they were interviewing her about different things, and so. Um, I mean, with all that said, I mean, Cleese is living her best life. She's on a farm yeah. far away, making her farm Where is it? She, I think food. she lives in Colombia now. No, and, and, she's and, um, in California still. So. So, so she's remarried. Mm -hmm. I think her husband is Colombian or, or something. He's South yeah. American. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they've got property wherever it is. That he, that he's Argentinian or, or uh, Colombian. I can't remember which one it is. She is living her best life. She is quite mm -hmm. content. And a new baby, too. Yeah. So if she's mm -hmm. living her best life, Ian, why do women always want to come out and dog the man if she's living her best life? I don't get it. Dog the man, that's her story. Story. That's her truth. I, okay. I, I, they asked I, I, her question. Just, she answered it. Yeah, well. It's just bad chemistry, man. It's just you know, a lot of baggage. You know, sometimes, I mean, I, I'm, I'm divorced, and and I've been with my lady now uh, 11 years. Mm -hmm. And I'm still mad at my ex-wife. I, I mean, it's been. <laughs> I mean, let's keep it real. We still ain't. We, we still ain't right. But wait, you here, know? here's a real question for you guys. Do you think that there is a statute on limitations, you know, quote unquote, mm. in 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 terms of when you can become vocal about something that's happened to you, yes. whether it's uh, physical abuse, like oh. she's like she's claimed, or if it's sexual assault. And I really want to talk to you about that because mm -hmm. of the study that you're doing with Yale University mm -hmm. about male sexual assault, a study on which it mm. seems almost oxymoronic to even put that concept together, mm. male sexual assault. So I want to get back to that. But do you guys think collectively that there's a statute of limitations on when you should be allowed to talk about abuse that's happened to you. What about you, Joe? I'm conflicted because <clears throat> just because time has passed doesn't negate the fact that you did whatever you did. Mm -hmm. right. You whooped somebody's ass or whatever it is, mm -hmm. or sexual something, you still did it. So, <laughs> um, yeah. you know, but I know that everything is profit driven. The money controls everything and these people, they try to exploit circumstances. They wait till time, you know what, he owes me for, or she, you know, mm -hmm. whoever. And they just take advantage for those reasons, but you think it's so, because like a, and you yeah. think it's because somebody's trying to ruin your, their career. Like sometimes people are trying to ruin your career. What do you think? You think she's trying to ruin his career, or she's just really hurt? I mean, but what's Nas been doing though? Is he's he, been he's been out there. He's been he has a um, a new restaurant on on Fairfax. He has Nas, Nas is right. doing is more yeah, is is more but, of an entrepreneur now rather than right. um, developing right. new music. Like I I believe he was one of the first investors in Ring. The, right. oh, yeah, he, the he's, yeah, a lot oh, of yeah. He's, he's, he's had his money in, but he's rolling in. Money. I don't think right. she's yeah. trying to hurt him, but I think they do try to hurt. You're I don't think women. in her specific case that she's trying to hurt him, but there are situations where yes, women are yeah, using it. Yeah, it's two sides of the story. Yeah. story that's that's true. True. Absolutely, yeah. yeah she it could be jealousy. It could be anything. Yeah. No matter how you slice or dice that, that's her ex-husband. That's who she was with. She they met when they were twenty years old. And they asked her a question, she answered it. Mm -hmm. That's well, her truth. Well, Melissa, right. you're a woman. She what has do you that think? right. Right. Yeah, I agree. <sighs> As you know, you got a lot of opinions. I do have a lot of opinions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I can understand why it would take a victim of abuse of any way, of any shape or form, to um, uh, come out and 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 say any say something about it. Like 
let's just take for example Bill Cosby mm -hmm. or Russell Simmons. Mm -hmm. um, people are start, are saying to the women, why did it take you so long? Like the, the their uh, their credibility is questioned mm -hmm. because of the length of time in <clears throat> which it took them to actually say that. But and if I you can speak on that too, I, I want you to. Yeah. But if you think about how powerful Bill Cosby at one point was trying to buy NBC, mm -hmm. like he was like God. Yeah. You know That's what I mean? All those he was he too. was Cliff Huxtable. Yeah. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Maybe we can have so, that image. Of Cliff, Cliff Huxtable versus Bill Cosby. So exactly. So when you are just you know some some random you know fledgling actress mm -hmm. and Bill Cosby has like you know slipped some quaaludes into your stuff, then and you what do you what do you do? Yeah. Like how how He's do you powerful. feel like you can go up against Bill Cosby and that your voice will be heard and people will believe you? And even if they do believe you, they'll still sweep it under the rug with like maybe some like you know like a payment or just you know to keep you quiet or whatever the case is. Yeah, yeah I That's I tough. think I. Don't I know. I think that there is a there is a the lion's share of victims that do come forward way after the fact. They've been living with that trauma for a long mm -hmm. time, and, and that is not to say that there aren't people who, you know, lie, you yeah. know, and mm -hmm. and and take advantage of the situation. Um, but I, yeah. That's, well, the that's statute just limitation okay. actually in California was ten years up until. It was 2020, so four years ago, mm -hmm. a little bit, a little, almost four years ago. Mm -hmm. That's limitation part, on what, though? Uh, on rape. reporting rape. On yeah. reporting rape. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's so all part of passing that bill with uh, Mike Gibson, uh, he's an MC member out of uh, Carson, as mm -hmm. well as Gloria Allred, um, and the senator out of um, Chino. Mm -hmm. And we passed the bill in September of 2016. But up until then, if it was over 10 years of when the act happened, mm -hmm. you couldn't press charges. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now it was, that was removed, so mm -hmm. now you can press charges. So these women from the 80s and the Harvey Weinsteins and Bill Cosby's that happened in the 80s and the 70s, they're able to press charges now because that was removed. That Lisa Allred was a part of that uh, uh, Not change. Lisa, her mother. I, I was going to say Gloria Allred, mm -hmm. which is really interesting because Lisa, Lisa Bloom, uh, Gloria Allred's uh, daughter, daughter yeah. Tried to defend Harvey Weinstein. Mm -hmm. Like that. I remember. Oh yeah, yeah. it was just it, <laughs> messy boots. Um, yeah. But I wanted to. I wanted to go back, Jason. Talk about <laughs> um, the study that you're doing with Yale University. Yeah. Um, male sexual assault. I mean, I was talking to Donnie about this earlier. Yeah, she was. You know, and mm. he just was like, <laughs> "Girl, bye." You know. Uh, really. The con okay. The concept of male sexual assault. How many times, how many, you know, what's the stati statistics of somebody, a male reporting sexual assault, who's the perpetrator of said sexual assault? Is, does homosexuality play a role here? Like, it's, it's just a, it's a subject I feel it's like men really would no. never want to talk about. It's, yeah, yeah. it's one of those yeah. things, you, you know, yeah. Uh, I mean, with Terry, uh, Terry Crews is a perfect example of yeah. somebody mm -hmm. who, mm -hmm. you know, he's, he's a big, strong, strapping man. <laughs> yeah. She says, what's strapping? Strapping. Oh, okay. I thought you were. You got most of them. Hold on. What? I mean, I mean since, we're on, since we're on this sub, can I talk to you? Yes, yes, please, yeah. please. There's this dude named James, right? And no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, to kind of bring it back. Yes. Um, so basically, I am a sexual assault um, survivor. And this happened to me in 2016, and it took a while. Thank you. Um, and it happened to me a while ago, um, and it took me even before I started speaking about it and advocating for it a long time to even process that. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it took until someone made a joke about it who I confided in, and I almost literally crashed my car because mm -hmm. I lost all ability to control my emotions and my mm -hmm. feelings. Mm -hmm. So, and this was months after it actually even happened. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. after I was able to deal with that, with the therapy, she was terrible. Mm -hmm. um, but I was able to kind of get a grip on myself and address what was festering inside of me for so long. Mm -hmm. And I took it upon myself because I've, I've been on podcasts, I've been on different shows, I produce, I write, mm -hmm. I'm always in the public eye and I knew that my voice would be a benefit to those out there. And when I tell you, I wrote an article for HIV Equal, my old um, column that I had, mm -hmm. and viral. Mm -hmm. Like I think I had a million impressions within a day wow. and my emails were flooded with other people, men, mm -hmm who had been sexually assaulted as well, who had no idea. I remember one email said that they were assaulted in like the 80s mm -hmm. and they had never spoken about it until they emailed me. Like, I don't even know how I'm emailing you right now, but thank you for your story because I'm able to talk about it now. Right. Well, it's got to be and a so, hard thing to do if you're a very masculine person. And, or anybody. Yeah, you know. There's it, so many different layers to, to it because mm -hmm. we're, we're socialized, we're conditioned to be men and what is men, what is masculine from right. a child. You right. wake up and you're a boy, you have blue around you. You exactly. play with the Tonka toys, you play with the G.I. Joes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we are socialized that way and then and when that's violated as an mm -hmm. adult, having to unpack that and 
address it is hard because mm -hmm. you're taught, you know, you're a he-man, you're, yeah. you're at the forefront well, of whatever, the household. Whatever, whatever the number, <laughs> whatever the number you think it is, it's probably twice as much as yeah. that. Yeah. Well, it is one historically. Well, let me yeah. ask you a question. Is, yeah. Have any men been sexual assaulted by women? Of course. Yeah? What's yeah. the statistic on that? Yeah, most people don't think that right. think of women when it comes to the mm -hmm. perpetrators of sexual assault. But, I mean, I mean, you open up a People magazine and all you're seeing are stories about teachers, female teachers who are preying on mm -hmm. their, you know, um, elementary school students. Oh, I, yeah. and, and I feel like you guys are taught to, you know, from a very young age to expect sexual, right. you know, interaction with women. So, you know, it's just like it's, it should be a source of pride. But it's it's so wrong. Mm -hmm. If a twenty something year old woman is like <laughs> feeling on a eleven year old's dingling, like no. I'm gonna be like, girl, what the hell is wrong with you? I don't, right. mean, I don't mean to laugh. Mm. He laughing too. You know why no, we don't want to laugh because as kids. If a, if a, Donnie, your 11-year-old son comes home and tells you that his teacher was feeling on his dingaling, and you go to the school and she and she looks like me. What are you doing? I would say, mm. how'd it feel? Are you kidding me? No, no, I'm no. I'm just playing. I'm just First thing I'm going to say, what she look like? What she look like? I'm just playing, though. But you anyway, guys. Know, but toxic we, masculinity we, just we, Well, you know, it, it, it like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you go, on, man. I'm gonna say some wrong shit. Go. On, you okay. Go. So, <laughs> tell us more. Tell us a little bit about the study and. and, and yeah. Um, so they were very happy to ask me to be part of the study mm -hmm. uh, for Yale between Yale and uh, Southwestern University in mm -hmm. Florida, and uh, they're basically testing and doing a psychological evaluation on sexual assault survivors. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's a lot of work. It's a brand new, they've been, ooh, it's been like about a year now. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, so far it's going well. They're all excited about it. Dr. Joan Cook is on it at Yale University and they're really wanting to make sure that they have the right resources and the right, um, I guess, materials to help people who are survivors. Okay, hmm. males. that's awesome, that's yeah. awesome. Thank you. That's awesome. Wow. It's a, it, I think it's a, it's a study that a lot of people are going to benefit from, yeah. from like you, like you said. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of men out there that you don't know about. So yeah, that's exactly. For sure. um, so switching gears. But hold up, I want to see what why, um, my yeah. Ian was going to say because he was staring at me. What do you feel about the whole situation when it comes to sexual assault? Um, I think you know when it comes to sexual assault, I think there, there shouldn't be no time limit on it. Mm -hmm. um, your, as long as you hurting, mm -hmm. you still there's a window for you to complain about it. Mm -hmm. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, 